tier 9 in World of Tanks Blitz is often overlooked and not a lot of people play it unless to grind up to tier 10. However, what are the top 5 tier 9 tanks in World of Tanks Blitz? Let's find that out in this video. Once again, this is my personal choice and it is again based on a couple of criteria. The E100 was number 5 in my tier 10 list, if you haven't seen that video yet, check it out. But So it makes sense for the E75 to also be number 5 in my tier 9 list as well. Now the reason it can't be higher is, first of all, it's not really that much of a upgrade in terms of playstyle over the Tiger 2. I mean, you're just playing the Tiger 2, it looks the same, it essentially is a Tiger 2, one tier higher, so you're not getting much difference there. However, that is a great thing if you are a new player. You don't want to have a lot of variance between the tiers. So as a beginner tank, this is a great tier 9 to start off with. It also has pretty good armor, especially the lower plate is quite thick. And a lot of tier 8s are going to struggle. Some even with premium ammunition to go through the lower plate of the E75. So this thing is a certified monster tank. However, it's kind of very slow. It's not very interesting to play. So it is never going to be higher on this list. But if you are a beginner to World of Tanks Blitz, this is a great tank to pick up. Maybe as your first tier 9. But obviously, tier 9's stock are a pain because you still have to play with the Tiger 2 gun. And the Tiger 2, is it going to be on the tier 8 list? Well, you have to like and subscribe to find that out. If we look at modern Soviet vehicles, we can see that they're, well, still the old Soviet vehicles and that they're also pretty terrible. And while that was also true for the majority of Soviet vehicles that were ever produced, <laughs> the Kennedy one wasn't even produced, so it never had the chance to be horrible on the battlefield. However, it can be a great asset on the digital battlefield of World of Tanks Blitz because this vehicle does have 2700 dpm in a three shot autoloader with 350 alpha damage which means you can put out an insane amount of damage very quickly and it, the clip also reloads in only 16 seconds on top of that they're also very accurate and have good mobility as well the armor is really weird the front plate has not much there the turret does have some armor but because of the turret shape it is easy to penetrate the top left and right of this turret but overall, if this vehicle does come to the shop, it is one of the very few tier nines that I would ever recommend, except for a later one on this list, but stay tuned for that. There are not a lot of tier nines that are worth buying, because tier 8 is better at making creds, tier 10 is better at making damage, but the Kennedy one is a great vehicle. I would still recommend it if it does appear in the shop, and it mostly is cheap as well. Now, while the E75 is bulky and slow, the 50TP is also bulky. It has an even bigger head, but it is nowhere near as slow. Now, the payoff for the 50TP isn't quite as satisfying because the 60TP is a bit eh compared to the E100. However, this vehicle does it all. It is extremely versatile. It has a good gun for its type, 460 alpha damage. Uh, accuracy could be better. It has 8 degrees of gun depression, which means you can play hull down very well with this vehicle. The cupolas are at the back of the turret and they're very tiny. The so playing hull down is very easy. Obviously, always keep the vehicle moving back and forth, just like you do with any vehicle, really, to avoid being shot in your weak spots. But the 50TP can also be a very fun heavy tank. There aren't a lot out there that are this good and also this versatile. I mean, you can also look at the opposite end of the spectrum in, let's say, an M103. But the 50TP is a very well-rounded, good vehicle that I can highly recommend picking up as a beginner even, because even though it's not quite as well-armored as an E75, it is still a very good beginner tank. And also, if you're better at the game already, it still can be very fun in your grind up towards the 60TP. Now, the Conqueror gets a tech tray score of, of about minus 72 because of the, the Black Prince and the, the Churchills before it have absolutely nothing to do with the playstyle of this vehicle. The Carnarvon is somewhat very similar, but this vehicle kind of suffers from a general lack of armor. The Coppola on top of the turret is quite massive and easy to hit, 
However, it is mobile enough that if you wiggle the vehicle back and forth, unlike what's happening here, then it is quite hard to hit that cupola on top. But the standout piece of the Conqueror and the reason why it is number two is the gun that's mounted on this vehicle. 2.7k DPM, 400 alpha damage, 0.299 accuracy. It's basically a rail gun that does its job really well and it has great penetration as well. Now the problem obviously of this vehicle given that it's lack of armor is that it is very difficult to play so I would only recommend this to intermediate to advanced players and the tech tree as well with the 2 and 5b I really only recommend that if you're a very good player already because the 2 and 5b is even more difficult to play than the conqueror however if you know how to get the performance out of the conqueror if you got all the awareness in the world then this thing is gonna absolutely own the battlefield with its pinpoint accuracy and very high dpm so obviously always be aware of your surroundings and what you're doing and be aware mostly that if you get this vehicle stock it has a absolutely terrible gun so keep that in mind don't grind the 2 and 5 b line until you're a very good player already but then once you're there definitely do enjoy the conqueror because it is a great vehicle Is there really any other choice than the Object 752 for number one at tier 9? I don't know. Is there? Is your top pick a different one? Put it down in the comments. I would love to know what you would choose as your number one tier 9. Now, the, this thing is a great tank because even though it does have an auto loader, it still retains a quite high level of DPM. And it also has very good gun depression, even though it is a Soviet tank. And there is one downside to that because of the oscillating turret. The cupolas on top will move with the gun. So you can never really go hull down properly because the cupolas will always be exposed if you are hiding behind a ridge line. So that is the big downside of this vehicle. Once again, the same thing as for any vehicle. Keep it moving back and forth. Then you will be very easily avoiding that problem. And you will be able to deal 860 damage in about four seconds now four second autoloader is just about on the border of what still does count as an autoloader but here's the thing two clips out of this magazine and you're already doing above average with this vehicle and that is why it is the best tier 9 because it has good mobility it's got good gun depression it has a very good gun as well it can just pretty much do anything obviously it's also a collector so it can earn credits but don't buy it for earning credits buy it because it can absolutely annihilate the enemy now f in the chat for the vicar cr by the way because it would have been number one if it wouldn't have been nerfed bruh